right, guys. So we are live at MomoCon 2018, and I'm getting this charging people up. So, oh my gosh. Ah, there's so many wires I'm trying to do this. Okay. Yeah, guys. So, I decided to start the stream a little early today because we're not going to be streaming development today because we're all here at MomoCon. So, so we're going to make sure that we put Larissa in the camera. Oh, that's why I moved. So yeah, guys, we, uh, let me know if you guys are, are here or logged in or whatever, because I can't really see the thingy. I I haven't tried this uh, phone streaming, really. But anyway, guys, I'll show you. I'll show you our booth. Follow me. We're at MomoCon. And so here is our, is our booth. But I'll flip the camera around so you can actually see it. First time ever. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Here's Larissa and Sean fixing our sign because it keeps falling a little bit. But yeah, we have uh, people joining us uh, at MomoCon playing our game, giving it a giving it a try. There, we're uh, handing out quests. Let me flip the camera around again. We're handing out quests that people can go and uh, complete for Epic Tavern Keys, and it's been a lot of fun. So um, we decided to start the stream a little early because we have to close up the booth at a certain time. But uh, it's been a lot of fun, and we miss you guys. But now we're on the East Coast, so we had to. I was like, wait, it's about it's about four o'clock. We gotta we gotta do this. So um, yeah, that's uh, what we're doing. Grand Reaper Sunday. Grand Reaper Sunday. What's up, honey? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. There's one of our. Oops. My phone is freaking out. Holy moly! So yeah, guys, um, you can see behind me. Um, there's all sorts of jazz going on in this expo hall. So we're part of this uh, kind of this blog where indie developers are showing off their game, right? And that's fun. So we're one of those indie developers doing the thing and the stuff. How are you doing, Grim? I wonder if this phone would not be as low. Just like an epic tavern, 
you're giving out little scrolls, little quests. And when you unroll that quest, we have quests that's written by our writer Sean, of course, like a lot of our other most important quests. And this particular one is called Monster Mash. And what what the con goers are doing is they're basically the it says that the con has been overridden by monsters and you have to do battle with them. So basically the con goers to complete the quest they have to um, Yeah, real life quest. So what they do is they have to go and get five pictures of them having battle with either monsters or beasts and and you know where it's pretty flexible. But uh but yeah we've already had people come back and show us um, their pictures and it's been such a you know a fun engaging time. So um, and then when they complete the quest then they get an epic tavern here. So that's one of the fun things that we're doing at the con. We're gonna have uh, basically different quests for each day. So today we have the Monster Mash quest and tomorrow we're gonna have a different quest. Sunday we're gonna have a, another special quest. The lights dimmed. What does it mean? Well, it's only 6.35. Yeah, I think they do have come now. It's just Is that the warning sign? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, that's all I got. Um, we did put our patch out, guys, so our latest patch is available to play right now. You can go on Steam, you can update it, you can play the new patch. So make sure that you guys go and do that if you haven't already. Alright. At East Coast time, I know Grim Reaper. Dude, I'm on this East Coast time right now. No, but you know what's been a highlight for me so far, besides being with my friends and talking with all the people? Dude, they have Yingling here! They have Yingling! What is that? Exactly! You're gonna have some. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's Yingling? Yingling is a beer, it's a lager, but like, it, it doesn't go past the Mississippi, I swear. You can only get it on the East Coast. Oh, really? Yeah, so I bought a case of it. I'm yeah, I've never tried it. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have some Yingling. Graham, do you like the Yingling? It's a beer. They have it in Florida, so you can definitely get Yingling. It's spelled like Y E U N G L I N. But either way, it's been a highlight for me. And they have a Waffle House here, honey. They don't have Waffle House over over where we're at. And if they do, it's nowhere near us I mean, at all. But there's a Waffle House, honey. You know I'm gonna hit that up. Dang. What else? But yeah, it's been uh, obviously the highlight, mostly me here talking with everyone. You know, being able to show people the game because it's uh, it's one thing to kind of post on social media, right? Post on social media, you do the gameplay, and that goes a long way. But it's so fun to engage with the community and, and really see how they play it too, because that that not only is uh, fun to do, because obviously we all like to play games together. It's very enlightening to see how other people play the game too. It's very, it's a good insight as a designer to see how people click through your experience because something that might be uh, second nature to you is not going to be second nature to somebody who just picked up the game for the first time. Right? So it's a, uh, it's very cool seeing how other people are playing the game. It's very useful. I must find that when I figure where the store is there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's just it, it tastes like home to me. So it, it, it is a regular lager. But it's like it's better than Sam Adams, <laughs> in my opinion. Like, like, but um, it's a lot. But it tastes like home to me. So, but yeah. You guys want to see the awesome banner that Gabby did? Let me show you. I gotta unplug my phone, and I'll flip around. Okay, guys, I'm flipping you around. Look at the pretty. Ooh. I gotta like back way up. So there's the pretty banner that Gabby made. Yay. There's our writer, Sean, and there's someone we just met. And there's Tomo. And this guy, this guy's awesome. He's so he's so nice and he's been playing our game for like an hour now. He is behind the scenes. He is behind the scenes, guys. We have a 
We have our behind the scenes. There's not too much. There's just some water, really, and our purses, and that's about, and that's about it. There's not too much. Behind the scenes, it's just the back of a monitor, you know? So it's not, it's not all that exciting. So sorry to get your hopes up. There's not much going on behind the scenes. But how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Yeah, he uh, writes for 
his comic book as well, so he's a well seasoned writer, writing hilarious things for Epic Tavern, but also writing cool things for this comic. So check out Escape from Jesus Island, guys. Check that out. I'm showing it off to the stream. Hold on, guys, I gotta talk to them. Oh, no. I can't grab Oh, wait. Show me, show me. Yo, guys, we gotta look at, at quest pictures. So I'm like trying to live stream and do things all at once. There we go. Cool. Sharky's here. 
Did you get robbed by <laughs> Juicy Glands is trying to be a troll there. Uh, let's see, hi hijacking for the win. Yep, I'm surprised you were able to get away from the booth. How many of you went? Nine of us. Is it one too long? There's nine of us. Yeah. They're about to close, so it's not so lit right now, but yeah, but, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, it's the honestly, cosplay is amazing. Cosplay is super good. Really cosplay game is strong, honey. It is strong. It's super good. Let me put this down so I can get it. Yeah. Yeah, Juicy Glance, I don't know if you're trolling me, but to be honest, I'm like the most gullible person, so it's always gonna work. Um, yeah, I couldn't get into the chainmail one, which really sucks, but whatever. Um, Oops. Nice is here. How's it going, everybody? I'm having a great time at MomoCon, so I have a lot of fun. Been attending a lot of uh, uh, sessions where they're like going over like the details of uh, cosplay. Okay. It's a lot of fun. Pretty cool to check out. Yeah, so me and Mehmet actually were uh, at two two panels together, which were more for cosplay stuff. Um, uh, the so the second panel that I went to, they were talking about wearing cosplay, and it, they were basically people that had been cosplaying for a long time, and um, basically how good they got at it, being judges for cosplay panels and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> and then the last panel we went to was about uh, historically accurate cosplay costumes so um, yeah they were talking about they actually had a seamstress that worked on Westworld and she worked on a bunch of other cool shows and movies um, superhero movies and stuff like that um, and more historic historically accurate stuff so that was pretty cool and uh, another guy that did a lot of uh, historical stuff mainly for um, I think like Shakespearean type uh, theater and a bunch of shows and stuff that were like kind of Victorian era stuff. Um, so it was pretty cool. That one was kind of boring to be honest. Oh. Yeah, they just, they weren't good at speaking I think. It was, it might have been their first panel. Um, so they were kind of like quiet and, and there was a lot of long pauses of them thinking about what to say. Um, Space Doctor. Hey, Space Doctor. Space Doctor. Um, yeah, maybe we can see if we can find any cool, like, cosplayers. Ah. It's a girl there with, like, horns and stuff. Sean's right there. That's Sean. Larissa. There was someone dressed as a female version of Hellboy, and... Like, her stuff was legit. It looked really, really good. Space talk. Oh, no. Who's, who's ever phoned this is just getting a shit ton of messages. Um, yeah, there's like a bunch of Naruto characters. Um, like I said, they're already closing uh, the convention, or at least this part of the convention. Panels are still gonna be happening. Um, so there's not a lot of people anymore that are being kicked out, but I don't know if, if we're able to do some streaming tomorrow, I'll try to show you guys some more cosplays. There's a lot of people there. I saw a couple of Luffy's. Um, there's a really cool Princess Peach, but instead of wearing her regular uh, dress, she was wearing a wedding dress. And it was, it was very detailed. Her wig was impeccable. Um, and she had like a, she had a, a bouquet. You can keep talking. Yay! 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 Hey! Hey! Keep talking, Gabby. Yeah! Uh, she had a bouquet of like those, those snapper pots from Mario. Oh yeah. Yeah, Princess Peach was wearing a, a wedding like gown. A... We were talking about it. Oh yeah, yeah. Really Prana. Awesome. She was, it was really good. Yeah. Show me food cosplay, that rat meal. Someone did have food cosplay, like fake food train. Oh wow, yeah. really? Tomo's hey doing work, look at him go. He's being productive while we're just kind of chit-chat. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see, who, let, I'm reading the chat. Drag! Drag, what's up? Drag! 
Wait, who are you, space doctor? We need that barbecue rat cosplay. Yes. <laughs> well, tomorrow we're gonna be looking a little different, oh, Gabby. Yeah. 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 Gabby and I, we're gonna we're gonna be cosplaying tomorrow for sure. So that'll be that'll be a fun time. We're gonna take lots of pictures and post them on the the internet. Tomo, the ever productive. Yes, he is the ever productive. Sharky says you're productive. Sharky. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Tomo said hi. Sharky just said tell Sharky I said hi. All right, guys. Well, we gotta actually shut this booth down, and yep. then we gotta go get some food, honey. Yep. Speaking of food, yeah, they're gonna kick us out. Soon. Yeah, and they're gonna kick us out. So we gotta, we gotta actually uh, help Tomo here, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. We love you. All y'all have a good night. Oh, what are you gonna cosplay as? We're gonna be land pirates from Epic Tavern. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. We love you. Bye. Bye.